I don't want to go to the army because I'm from a very political family and I go to Arabic school. I feel like I'm, I'm as Arab as much as I'm a Jew because all my friends are Arabs. Uh, I grew up in the Arab uh, community. I speak Arabic as good as I speak Hebrew. Uh, my family, neither of my parents went to the army, neither did my brother. My friends, they are supporting me 100% in this. It's like they're Arabs and they know it doesn't happen. Arabs don't go to the army, mostly. Yes, I am in a political minority because I think, I don't believe that there should be Israel or Palestine. That's ju just my thought. I think there shouldn't be any countries. But I am in a political minority because I fight for the freedom of other people, not mine even. But I fight for the freedom of my brothers, my people that I grew up with, people that are my friends, my best friend is an Arab. Politically, there are very few Jews that are standing with the Palestinians in this country. So yes, it's in, I think I'm in a minority politically. I think I decided not to go to the army four years ago, but it was a process. I said that I'm going to go, but not serve in the territories. I'm going to go, um, but be the good soldier. It took a long time to say I'm not going to go. And then it took me more time to say I'm going to refuse. My parents were in the army, both of them very combat. They really believe in the army. <laughs> Um, it's hard. It's hard for me to make them understand that I'm really not going to the army, and make them understand why I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to the army. I spoke to many women and men that were in jail um, for refusing. Um, lots of them said it was really hard. Some of them said uh, it's not worth it. Some of them said uh, it's not that hard. You can get used to it. And I said, it, 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 it does scare me. And I know it will be hard, but I do think it's the right thing to do. Government is trying uh, for uh, more than 40 years uh, to achieve peace by military forces. Uh, but as you see, it uh, doesn't work. Uh, my parents doesn't support me. And they think uh, that I'm doing a mistake. But uh, that's what I think, that's what I believe. If I will end up in jail, I don't know if my parents will come to see me. Uh, I'm pretty sure my sister won't come. And my parents, maybe my mom will come to bring me vegan food or something like that. I have some children in my class that started listening to me and arguing and really want to listen. And uh, but uh, still, everyone is going to be in my class is going to be drafted to the army and serve, and it's very important to them. They think that uh, this, I mean, in school, they're all the time teaching us that we have to um, help the society, and the army is the way to volunteer to the society and, and stuff. So it really, we will, we, people really think that this is the truth. Jail is a, a really scary thing. Because um, it, it's hard to know what, what's going to happen there. And I mean, I'm just trying to talk with uh, other uh, girls that refused in the years before. And, uh, and then when I know a bit more what is going to happen, I feel a bit more secure to go there because it's less frightening. Uh, but yeah, it is still lots of unknown. And I cannot know how much time will be sentenced each time. And lots of things that I cannot control. And that makes it scary. Mm -hmm.